For decades, the staff at the Margaret Fuller House has been working to find safe homes for children. It's a transformative place in the community. Absolutely, and now the Margaret Fuller House is celebrating its 120th anniversary. WBZ's Katrina Kincaid shows us the difference it's making in so many lives. Everything, everything that was meaningful to you was done here. We, we play sports. We, it was a, a meeting place. It was, it was a happy place. It's been years since Mr. G and his son walked the halls of the Margaret Fuller neighborhood house together. You're talking about going back to about 1954, 53, 53. And um, this, the Margaret Fuller house was, it's, it was like a, like a temple to us. It was the place to be. For generations, their family has utilized the services the organization provides. Well, my mother was a bookkeeper here. Anytime I walked by this building with my grandmother, she would always tell me these great historical uh, stories about the Margaret Fuller House and what it meant. The legacy of Margaret Fuller House spans two centuries. In 1902, it was one of the first settlement houses in the U.S., originally a place where young women working in factories could gather and get resources. There's a lot going on here that's really having systemic impact in the community. And it's a small house doing really big things. Over the years, it's transformed into a place the entire community could host events, learn skills, and even host a Black Panther radio station. My older brother actually was, they started a radio station here that only broadcast to the housing development. But he was on the, the radio station here, and we would sit in the lobby and listen to him uh, as a DJ, and we thought we were hot stuff because we were listening to someone from the neighborhood who was on the radio station. Now they provide youth programs, financial assistance, free food, and community advancement services. For me, being on the board and then realizing that my mother was on the board and knowing that my brothers and sisters actually came to programs here in the house, you know, so I felt indebted to really give back to my community and also a house that helped foster my brothers and sisters. They're now celebrating 120 years of providing services to the community with a gala. You can find information on how to get tickets on their website. In Cambridge, Katrina Kincaid, WBZ News.